This is a nice little algebra problem from the Australian Intermediate Mathematics Olympiad 2024. It's question five out of 10 in this four hour Olympiad. We're looking for three positive integers a, b, and c that satisfy both of these equations. Then we have to find a plus b plus c. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna combine the two equations. It makes sense to subtract, uh, let's say two minus one, because that will cancel out c. When we do that, we'll have a minus a squared plus b squared minus b is equal to 24. Now, in there we have a b squared minus a squared. I'm gonna write that out the front because when we see b squared minus a squared, we can factorize that into b plus a, b minus a. And factorization is a really good approach for something like this. Um, because our solutions have to be integers, if we can look for integer factors, then uh, we can solve the problem. Now we have a minus b in that second term, but if we take out a negative, that would be b minus a, and then we'll have a common bracket between those two terms. So that common bracket of b minus a, we can take that out the front, and we'll have b minus a, and the second bracket will be b plus a minus one. Uh, that's great. So those two brackets multiplied together must give us 24. And there's only four options for the factors of 24. It could be 1 and 24, uh, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, or 4 and 6. All right, so let's just check the first one. Say if b minus a is equal to 1, then b plus a minus 1 is 24. And we can tell that second bracket is going to be the larger of the two factors, being the with the, with the b plus a minus one, because a is going to be uh, at least one. Uh, then so b would be a plus one. We can sub that into the second equation to get two a is equal to 24, and then a would have to be 12. That would mean b would have to be 13, and subbing them back into the first equation, a squared plus b minus c is of course 100. We get 144 plus 13 minus c is 100, so c would have to be 57. Okay, in this case, a plus b plus c will be 12 plus 13 plus 57, which would be 82. So given that we have found uh, positive integers a, b, and c that satisfy the equations, and a plus b plus c is 82, by the way the question is worded, that must be the answer to our question. Um, but we could, to be a bit more thorough, go back and check those other three cases for the factors of 24. And what you would find if you do that is that b and a cannot be um, satisfying those equations while also being positive integers. The only possibility uh, is the one we've found already where a plus b plus c is 82. Okay, there you are. So a little bit of um, simultaneous equations, factorization, and using factor pairs. Okay, that's it.